Hey, what's up, what's up, YouTube? This is breaking news. Donald Trump has been indicted by a New York grand jury. Now, I want to say this, but before I say this, if you haven't, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do so. Hit that like button. Hit that bell so to notify you when I, I can do upload another video and share it. All right. So a grand jury indictment, I want people to know that anyone can get indicted by a grand jury, even a mouse. Because it's so simple. It's nothing, it's nothing, it's nothing big. Um, in most indictment, you have a chance as a, as a, as a defendant to, to testify in a grand jury. But most lawyers don't allow you to testify in a grand jury. It's not, it's, they don't allow you, it's not recommended. It's not recommended to go to in front of a grand jury. But anyone can get indicted. But this is an indictment of embarrassment. Because we're talking about a president of the United States. Though he's not the brightest man there is in the world. He has a foul mouth. He doesn't care about nobody but himself. He's a narcissist. And whatever you think you may like or dislike about him, he got indicted. He got the first president in the United States that get to get to get impeached twice. Which is something that he did deserve because the evidence was there. Okay. And I'm neither a Democrat or a Republican. And I and I and I listened to the hearings of the indictment. I mean, of the of the impeachment, and they were correct in impeaching him. Um, the indictment, I believe that it um, that it took a little bit too long because there are statutes of limitations um, that should have kicked in, and he shouldn't have been charged because of the statute of limitations. But it is what it is. The point here is that he got indicted. The thing that the scary thing about it is that he is going to try to incite. Um, he's going to try to incite some sort of of riot. He's not going to tell you this is a riot. I want to be a riot, but he's going to tell his people, "Stand up. We have to do this. We have to do that. We have to do this for democracy." And those people who are not smart enough are going to do something dumb. Uh, because they're 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 behind Trump 100%. Um, but it is an embarrassment that a United States president has gotten indicted. Even if you want to see it as a over or uh, an over a zealous and over zealous um, DA, if that's the way you want to see it from a, from a from a Republican point of view, because that's how the Republicans are going to do it, or you see it from a Democratic point of view. And say, well, he got indicted because he did this hush money, he did this, he did that. Whichever way you want to look at it, it's still an embarrassment. And that's going to go on record, um, if it is, even if it doesn't go to trial, or whatever the case may be. Because I will tell you that now that his lawyers are going to go, and his, and I don't know how he gets these lawyers, but the lawyers that he gets are the most, are the dumbest lawyers there is in the world. But he keeps getting them. And, the, and a smart lawyer would go for a dismissal of the grand jury just for a simple reason is that um, not for dismiss not for dismissal of the grand jury that it that they're gonna file for dismissal just for a simple reason surprises me. So you know the statute of limitations but I gonna say so the statute of limitations so on a statute of limitations most 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 on a misdemeanor is three years in New York is three years and on a felony is five and the DA in the New York case are they asked for extension any circumstances because of COVID, so they had that that they, they they were able to quote and unquote were able to extend their 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 their, their statute of limitation. Now, is that even feasible? Is that even legal? We don't know. I don't think it is, but but we'll see what happens. But Donald Trump has been indicted. Embarrassment in the United States of America.